Number five. Well, um, there was this weird thing that happened in 2012. There was a, just, a WTF moment in music, you could say. I mean, I wasn't listening to music at the time, but, um, but, um, all I can say is how did this happen? This is the most weirdest thing that actually happened. And I have other questions, but for now, all I can say is that well, this is a, this is going to take a longer time to explain than it needs to be. This song is called Windows Down by Big Time Rush. Whether or not you liked Big Time Rush or not is entirely up to you. The song samples Blur, but you know who wrote this song with different lyrics? Kesha. Yeah, this is really confusing, by the way. Did I say there was a lack of club songs? And this is actually a good one. Remember when I put Blow on one of my lists? This is like a better version of Blow, and I love this pre-chorus. This is probably my favorite part of the song, actually. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of lame, but Kesha was always lame until she became cool with praying. Well, praying is more than cool. Praying is powerful. And yeah, this is a better version of Blow, and I really like this song. But unfortunately, it didn't get released to the public because it got leaked online, and whoever did that needs to just go away. But yeah, this song got leaked online, and then she sold it, the instrumental, to Big Time Rush, who changed the lyrics and made Windows Down. This is all relevant because this was supposed to be the lead-off single for her album Warrior, and it got scrapped in favor of this. This is what we got instead. Enjoy. I mean, at least this song is original. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do I prefer Woohoo? I'm just gonna call it Throw It Down. Press Windows Down if we're ready to throw down. I'm gonna call it Throw Down. That is my name for the song, which is just labeled Woohoo. It doesn't have an actual title, I don't think, because it was leaked. Uh, because there's still only one Woohoo song. And then there's about a million other Woohoo songs. Like Black Horse and the Cherry Tree, um, The Sweet Escape, um, about a million others I'm not thinking of. But, okay, this song is really good. I'm getting off topic. Here's the club song we all needed. The best part of this song is the chorus. This is a better version of Blow, in my opinion. It feels like it's produced cleaner and is less rough around the edges. And, yeah, it's still a vapid club song, but it's good, okay? But, yeah. She should have released the other song instead, maybe. Not instead, though, because this song is a damn good song, so... She should have released it in addition to it. Or she should release it now so I can stream it on Spotify, because, damn, I actually like that song. Sigh. Number... Three or four. Number four. Um, I've had this conversation and I think the word I'm looking for is atmosphere. I need atmosphere in my music. My favorite songs have so much atmosphere in them that it just oozes atmosphere. And sometimes to a too much extent, you could say. There was such a thing as having too much atmosphere. Kind of like that soundtrack in the Big Boo's Mansion in Super Mario 64. It's too ambient and too much noise and too atmospheric and doesn't really like music, but somebody like Billie Eilish can turn atmospherism into success, and she's one of my favorite breakout artists right now. Please get big, honey. But at the same time, these songs can come off as kind of boring and quiet and very spooky. And then there's the downbeat songs like Royals, which are just kind of there. I'm not saying I just like that song or anything, but I've always talked about enjoying atmospheric dance music in particular. That is a weird thing to say, um, but yeah. Atmospheric is the correct word. Saying darker, edgy dance music. That's not the right word. Edgy would be punk. This is atmospheric dance music. This song is called Headlock by Imogen Heap. If you may have heard of her from Hide and Seek or the atrocious Whatcha Say by Jason Derulo. God, I want to die. This song is really good. 
Um, this was off her 2005 album, Speak For Yourself, which Hide and Seek also came off of, and it's her second best album, I think. It's sparse, it blows everything out of the park, but... And no, this isn't even the best album of 2000... Man, okay. <laughs> whatever. Yes, this is totally the best album of 2005. I'm not sure if Katie Thompson's album came out in 2004 or 2005, but it's not her best album. Woohoo, indeed. But also, I've talked about atmospheric dance music before. This song is really good. Um, I've used other examples of atmospheric dance music. God, there were things that came out the same year that fit that category. And of course, we can't forget Kylie Minogue, but... Let's talk about when one of these songs became a big hit, and I think I freaked out or something in my in my internal monologue. Freaked out. Atmospheric dance songs, my favorite genre that doesn't exist. God, I love Ellie Goulding's voice, even on songs like like on my mind, which aren't the best lyrically, but. God, I love her voice. I listen, I pretty much eat up anything Ellie makes, and Burn was okay. And I actually like her new song, Close to Me, with Diplo, but. But this song is just so good. This is still her best song. This is a breakout single, and it's still her best song. We talk about. And, uh, weird side note is Ellie Golding British. That's what I'm trying to figure out, because I heard someone say she was British, but I thought she was Australian, but she's probably British. I'm going to Google that right now to find out, because this could be relevant. Ellie Goulding. British. Nationality. Ellie Goulding. Let me just look her up. She is, in fact, loading. She is English. She is British. So, yes, uh... Weird fact, the Brits seem really good at making this kind of music. Yes! More! I demand more! And yeah, I kind of feel like Ali Golding is a one-trick pony, and this was her best hit. She's had other good songs, but most of her songs don't hit this level of atmospherism, but... Yeah. And a lot of those other artists who made these types of songs actually have a more scope than this, and this is still her best song, but... This apparently was inspired by her fear of the dark as a kid, but... I don't hear that at all. I hear they're calling me home. Huh. Aliens or ghosts? Either way, it's spooky as heck and I love it. This song is amazing and still have best hit. In fact, we got this charting. In the same year, we got freaking Cher, Cher Lloyd. This song is better than Cher Lloyd in every way. This song is amazing. I have nothing else to say. Number three. <sighs> Song of the year, apparently. This is also one of my dad's favorite songs, coincidentally. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, he seems to like the weird indie rock, lumineers -y, Foster the People-y, Gautier-y. Monsters in many type of music. That's the stuff he tends to listen to. And I think he found this song because of the Star Wars parody, actually, which is fucking hilarious. And you have to check it out. But but somebody that I used to know, like Gautier featuring Kimbra. I have never heard another song by either of these artists. And, but gosh darn it, this song is amazing. My only real problem with it is it doesn't really pick up until the chorus. It just kind of feels slow and plodding for a while, but then it picks up and oh my god. In Kemper's verse, he gets his ass handed to him. Video is amazing too. And Kemper sounds amazing. Everything about this song works so well as a duet. This is one of the best duets. If this was without Kemper, this would not be as good. This is a, an amazing duet, and the harmonies on the last chorus, just sublime. Sublime. I love this song and everything it represents. And this is still going to be one of the standout hits of the 2010s. Number two. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. You know who I really miss in modern music? Adele. She needs to make more music. She would fit right into the landscape now, you know? She, she, she's she's kind of moody and downbeat, you know. She 
I wasn't aware that percussion was a, able to have sass, but apparently it can, as this song shows. This is one of Adele's best cuts off of 21. Now, I put, I put uh, Someone Like You on my last list, and yeah, this isn't my number one. Um, yeah, we'll get to that, but this song is amazing. I could have made it out my number one two, two years in a row. I really could have. This song is that good. You got a retro Motown feel to it, and that's a good thing. And, um, I love her voice so much. And again, this song has attitude and sass. This is the kind of personality I miss from a Charter Sound these days. Like, I, I hate Drake, not because he's a moody, bitchy guy, but because he's not even tr trying to be. He's trying to be a regular rapper, and he comes off as the most ungrateful, boring, disgusting person ever, and he just sounds morose about it all. Yeah, Post Malone is at least trying to be moody, but come on. What happened to it when breakup songs like this? This song is just so good. I have nothing else to say about it, other than this bridge is amazing. How does this exist? How do we live in a world where this bridge exists? And before we get to number one, a few honorable Nishanis. I don't know why I said that that way, but I thought it was funny. Okay. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's still kind of catchy. I love this chorus, but the verses in the chorus don't match at all, and Janelle Monet is totally underused here. I swear this song reminds me of something. I swear the cast of Spell on Me, Spell on Me card has been used somewhere else before, and it's annoying me that I can't place it, but I completely forgot this song existed, but I like it quite a lot. This was one of my last cuts, by the way. Don't kill me. The instrumentation and production on this song is so good. I know the lyrics are shit, though. This is a Maroon 5 song I actually don't hate. I know I should, because it's cod reggae and Adam Levine sounds like a whiny douchebag on it, but I still like the song, kind of. Now, this song is immaculately produced, and I love the beat on it, and Drake actually sounds really good on it, but... I could totally never hear another Drake song again and be happy with that. Speaking of Carly Rae Jepsen, she has the best part of the song. I was that when I was sitting down. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. People like to accuse Jessie J of being a Katy Perry ripoff. Jessie J is someone who needs to become a rock singer. That's what she needs to do with her career. And this song sounds good, but the lyrics are stupid. Next up we have quite the most interesting slash also most boring snake you could ever have. Philip Phillips. Huh. And this was my last cut for the list. Remember when I said at least it isn't Love You Like a Love Song in one of my other videos? I, I am so sorry. Number one, it's Coldplay. It's Coldplay. I'm sorry. I know everybody hates this song for some reason, and y'all are crazy. Paradise by Coldplay. I really debated putting this at my number one, but... Then I listened to it again, and... This is just one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. You're allowed to hate it if you want to. I don't know why anyone possibly could hate this song, or how. Sorry, Todd, the shadows, I just don't get you on this one, but... I only have one word, though. Millennial Whoop. But this song is immaculate. Every instrument sounds so good. I know people say, oh, the song is not that interesting lyrically. It isn't. I don't care what it's about. This song makes me feel so happy when I hear it. This is the song. And yes, this is one of my favorite songs of all time, so it's naturally gonna be here. Still not as good as Feel Good Ink, though. Alright, guys, that was it for the list. Uh, I'll see you all next time when we tackle 2013. Yeesh. A lot of Miley Cyrus, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, click like, uh, which is a stupid thing to ask. Subscribe to the channel and um, ring the bell for whatever I upload, which is sometimes a lot, sometimes a little, because I'm inconsistent as fuck, but yeah. Alright, that's about all. Bye!